Greetings everyone, Blackshadow here and welcome to first episode of XCOM Enemy Within Long War uh, which technically is not the first time I'm playing this game because I played it once upon a time about three years ago and I'm kind of stupid because I have so many games to play including XCOM 2 and yet I decided to come back to uh, this thing. Uh, having maybe specific uh, plan in mind which i will show you in just a moment and uh, not gonna go for impossible i will be using a trainer just saying this right now which is why i'm fine with going for harder uh, at least basic difficulty uh, with advanced options uh, yeah iron man i want to play with that Apparatus beginner view. Okay, let's go with damage roulette. Mm, training roulette, no. Actually, hmm. I mean, to have some unique troopers, why not? Maybe some interesting. Uh, do I want the campaign time being extended? I am gonna be playing with the dynamic war, so... Probably not. Actually, I'm gonna go with that. Probably not. Actually, hmm. Yeah, having perfect information and whatnot, that's that's all right with me. That's all right with me, definitely. Possible cinematic war? Huh. That could be interesting. Because I'm using a trainer after all, so. Hmm. Mind you, I am planning on using merely some of the options, so I'm not gonna be using like unlimited health option, like maximum defense, just probably going for options that. Uh, uh, give you better uh, aim, so to speak. I'm kind of curious what sort of bullshit the game throws at you when playing at impossible mode. Ah, but fuck it, they're already calling this uh, brutal, so... Let's go for it.
It's been a while since I saw that particular intro, so... You know what? I'm gonna watch it again. of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. Man, I forgot how fun it was. Okay. Wait for Germany's. Oh, that has like a. Actually, what sort of bonuses are there? I mean, some of these are quite interesting, including that thing. Honestly, I'm just gonna go with the classic. We're going to be putting down in Mexico for this mission. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. And I like that they all have red shirts. <laughs> Strike one. This is, is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. That's affirmative. Do we want to risk it? Let's do this. Yep. Gen 4. Visual on the goods. Good copy. Moving on target.
Sì, signore. On the move. Headed there now. Just making sure that... I think he's missing. Headed there now. As you wish. Siba. Location confirmed. Time to motor. Affirmative, moving out. Moving out. Slow and steady approach. Quiet. Did you hear something? Oh, I hear them moving. It's been secured. Yes, Commander. Enemy in sight. Oh, my fuck. Oh boy, uh... Yeah, you need to... That's affirmative. Move back, my man. Affirmative, tracking. Battle. They might be coming from this side, which makes me... I'm rolling. Worried for this option. Moving to position. Going for the rooftops, I am Got it. not entirely sure about. I'm rolling. Got something over here. Yep. They're trying to pull back. Contact. I'm taking heavy fire over here! 
try, Commander. Eat this! Heading out. X-ray neutralized. <laughs> Moving out! And I'm slightly worried about... Heading to that location. And it's not in cover. Sadly, they do have cover. Hey, that sucked. That didn't do anything. Ooh. Fire activity, not good. Really? We are still alive? Decisione confermata. Hauling ass. Roger, Dodger. Spent. On it. He's down. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Hey, moving out, moving out. Now I think we can Got do it. like that and. Good work out there, Strike One. If I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. You got it. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations and keeping okay, you briefed on the current the situation. Okay, I expect that the first core episodes, they're gonna be long, like hour long. I might Speaking keep it the which, entire series, like, you know, like hour long episodes. episodes. I'll let you get to it. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Oh right, I forgot that the freaking Commander to 
Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Yep. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Okay, I hope this will not fuck it up and I'm gonna save the game just in case. Commander to the research uh -huh. labs. Commander to the research so labs. Eight. Actually, how many... Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlin. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. How many researchers do we even have? Ooh, slow, slow. I don't have time for that. Seems the complexities of our latest research project. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. It also sucks that we do not have... We Commander do not to have mission control. a lot of to uh, resources, to be honest. Every member of the council is going to want satellite coverage, so we should plan our deployments carefully. Oh boy. Uh... uh okay. So hopefully, this will not break things, so... Okay. Commander, our current satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. We should build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow for new satellite deployments. Yes, that's fair. I just want to submit the order. Honestly, I'm thinking about just going for, you know, unlimited scientists and engineers because I don't want to waste time, you know, doing all of that just. Yep. Yep. Now oh, it should be quick. I agree, that does seem to be the most pressing of our current research options. We'll begin immediately. I will notify you when a complete report is available. Oh, 
Not enough power build generator. Actually, hold on, what we could use... Uh... Speaking, I don't think we. Oh, no, wait, the uh, mech suits. Mech suits, so that's like our. In thing. Hmm. I think what I'm gonna do. Yeah, let's go for uh, foundry. To get that freaking that freaking power. Let's bloody hope. stuff to change so you're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive yes without a live specimen I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish and how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause neuro... Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want. Where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I can construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. Technology has a number of potential applications. I'm sure the science team. Axman scope, scope, all right. And yeah, we don't have stuff. Hmm, that's actually quite nice. Although then again, I'm kind of wondering like if going for like maximum scientists 
I didn't make this thing entirely slightly too fast. We've made a number of interesting discoveries based on the autopsy results of the alien specimen you brought back. The research team is now referring to this particular variation as a sectoid, based on the unusual structure of its internal organs, which we believe to be the product of genetic manipulation. As we've seen in the field, this species also seems to harbor some sort of telepathic ability. I expected that would be a priority research. Hmm. Yeah. So, what is it, Doctor? It's... remarkable. The crystalline structure housed within the canister is actually a suspension containing billions of cybernetic nanomachines each made up of both organic and mechanical components. My team's analysis indicates these microscopic robots are capable of assembling mechanical structures with unprecedented efficiency. With further study and some specialized facilities, we may be able to engineer a sort of cyber suit that interfaces with the human body. My team is more interested in the possibility of physically altering the tissue itself incorporating aspects of the alien's own genetic adaptations by using the nanites to fuse the foreign material. The commander will have to decide where the greatest advantage lies. Is there anything you agree on? Given the apparent purpose of the nanites, they allow combining organic materials with one another, or with machines. We have at least agreed to call them... Meld. Yep, and we literally have no, no freaking uh, resources, no power. So yeah, just gonna wait for another mission. Alright. Let's continue. Excavation complete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excavation complete. Commander, you should take a look at this. We've just detected a massive Ooh. new contact. We're picking up an enormous power signature. Whatever it is, it must be fully loaded. We should expect heavy resistance. Well... on the bandit oh what the f we're going down okay um 
Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Holy shit. Okay, this one we can scramble interceptors. Bangs out. All right. Central, this is Voodoo 37. We have a confirmed kill on Bogey 001. I repeat, the UFO is down. I'll copy over. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central out. All right, people. Retask Recon Satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. She's coming into range now, sir. On screen. Magnify. Still in one piece. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. Fighting back, motherfucker! Oh, but everyone else is still fatigued. Shit. Yeah, I'd rather you survive. Everyone else, it's... it's fine. Dropship has arrived. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. Wait, some of them look like, like they the do aliens not went down in a sparsely uh, populated area. Fuck? If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. Okay, thankfully that's that this that was a visual bug. Oh crash, shit, right? I was Strike worried for a moment. Loud and clear, big sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. Running. Oh, it's go time. Oh boy. They're flanking my position. Stepping off. That's affirmative. Roger, Dodger. Roger, not. Okay, at the very least, you can hit something. Moving to designated position. Down. Whoa. 
Oh boy, I managed to survive. I was worried. X-ray down. Okay. Kill confirmed. Running. Alien object in sight. Already there. Move up, move up. Okay. Ten four. Roger that. X -ray Alien spotted. object in sight. Oh, fuck. They do have grenades, so... I'm under fire. That was an excellent hit. Got it, moving. Grenade out. Not gonna do anything, but I thought that maybe it would damage the. Roger, Dodger. Solid copy. Toast. Mission accomplished. Impressive work, Commander. Our soldiers have to be feeling good after a mission like that. Squad side, so close combat specialist. No, hmm, potentially useful.
still fucking thinking if I should go with, uh... Fuck me. If I should go with, uh... Uh... Less amount of scientists. Scope you are building. We don't have anything for now. Commander, we've picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. I'm just generally not wasting time uh, doing <laughs> equipment. Prepare for deployment, Strike One. Australia has sent a number of requests for assistance, so that's our next drop site. Alien activity continues to surge within several major cities. Our response is crucial to minimizing the spread of panic. Roger, Big Sky. Okay, you know what? Five. Red shirts. Strike one has you the go for deployment. first. Orders confirmed. On the move. <laughs> Sorry, copy, Commander. Let's do this. Orders confirmed on the move. Fucking drones. Roger Dodger.
Bien sûr. J'ai quelque chose ici. Yes, sir. Yes, Commander. Oh, I just said the weapon not overwatch for fuck's sake. That's a very sturdy drone. X-ray neutralized. Visual response. Ah, fuck. X-ray on the move. They're on the move. They're flanking us. I don't want to get this thing. Yes, I copy. Will do. It's been secured. Je suis déjà. Di corsa. Troupe ennemie. Ah, fa. Occhio ai lati. Watch the flanks! On my way. I'm rolling. Dead and gone. Roger, Dodger. Cominciano a perdere terreno. Sono sotto fuoco pesante. Io ho slacky. Holy shit. Me ne sono occupato. Ma 
Yeah, moving through here is not the best idea, but uh, on the move. It is what it is. I'm ready. Moving to designated coordinates. Visual on the goods. It's killing time. Moving out. Bien yeah, chef. Oh, there it is. Affirmative. Moving out. Won't even know what hit him. Moving out. That's affirmative. We're green to go. I'm on it, Commander. Oh, there it is. Heading to that location. Hostile spotted. Need to find some new cover. With pleasure. Chalk up another one. All right, pretty good. An exemplary performance. 
Let's hope all of these operations go as smoothly as this one did. Yeah, if you are doing run and gun, then... Okay, so Grenadier... Yep, Supper... Hmm... Now you are another Rocketeer, so... Reflexes. Yeah, it makes sense. Commander. Right. You're shit out of luck when it comes to this thing. I'm uh, still having a hard time grasping what it is the aliens are hoping to accomplish here. Oh, they this unit appears to be a drone, which is similar to the military drones we are familiar with. This particular example seems to have the ability to repair damaged the equipment. Recording. Dr. Shen and I believe it should be possible to capture and repurpose these for our own use in the field. My items... Oh, I completely Yeah, no We don't have enough alloys. Fuck. That sucks. Uh, 
everything good because alloys holy shit uh honestly i think she wait let's go with like the this freaking yeah priority right I'm gonna run a fracture. Let's see, like you. Excavation complete. Okay, uh, so that's thermo, so I go with fission. Seriously? Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Additional uplink required. Hmm. Excavation complete. Excavation complete. Excavation complete. Excavation complete. Excavation complete. Excavation complete. Okay, so that also we're gonna go for thermal generator. This will be fission generator. So that will be our base for. It will be our base for stuff. Honestly, again, just uh, waiting for the mission to. Situation room cannot complete. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Oh my word. I'll send word to the Foundry crews now. You can follow their progress remotely to the project. Wait, do we have enough power? No, not yet. Shit. Let's see if we can get Engaging this Bogey. one done and 
on the mission itself we're gonna yep 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 so game save the game uh for now thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed this episode and i see you guys next time later